Hello, everybody. Welcome to Habala Ecclesia. This is this is the Ecclesia of God, the Church of God, right? The word the Ecclesia is church. We are the house of God, the body of, of Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They all live in us. So we gather once in a week around his presence to hear him, to fill his heart, to know what he's saying and to do it with him. We become his hands and his feet and his mouth on the earth. So everybody here, you're most welcome. And anybody who'll be joining us, you're welcome to engage with us this week. I, I, I don't want to believe that January is, is almost gone. This is the last day of January. And, and God has been good to us. There's one in the deal. There's some Welcome, in the, um, under search country. Thank you. So as we, as we gather together, we gather around his presence. Hashalush HaKodesh the three in one, the Trinity. We come with great expectation to feel the heartbeat of our father, to hear the voice of our brother, Jesus, and to love the flow of the Holy Spirit, our comforter and friend. Here we are, Father. Here we are, Hashalush HaKodesh. We turn our faces onto your faces. He told Abraham, walk before my faces and you will be perfect. You will mature. That's what we are here to do. We are responding like Abraham responded. We have come to turn our faces towards your faces and walk before your faces. What we behold, we become. We want to honor the host of angels who are around here, who are among us today. We want to honor the cloud of witnesses, our men in white linen, under the sovereign spirit, wisdom and her handmaiden, handmaidens, and under the Hebrew letters. We are grateful you are here. We invite you to participate and engage with us today. Govern us, govern with us, teach us, teach with us. Enable us to get the fullness of what Father has for us today. And we want to honor the, the breath of God who is blowing right now onto us and upon us. If we may, I, I want us to just for a minute or to be quiet in his presence and engage the breath. I feel the breath coming in upon us. Let us all be quiet in his presence. Welcome, welcome Doreen. Thank you. We want to be still and know his God. Just be still and engage the breath of God. And then, and then we, we come back together and, and discuss and share our experience, experiences. You're all in agreement? Yes. Yes, through the veil and the blood and the shin of your Haitian body. Hallelujah. So be still and know I am God in quietness and in stillness, 
is our strength. Let's engage and receive the knowledge that he's God and receive strength. You know, I, I've seen, um, at first I saw a, like a flash of teal uh, color, and then I saw um, two arcs of teal coming together to form, you know, like a big, huge oval or circle. It was like way off in the cosmos somewhere. Thank you for sharing, Jill. Anybody else wants to share what they've seen or feeling?
Well, I'm, I'm just watching this thing kind of spin and it it seems to be moving very slowly. So that's all I'm seeing right now. Do you see all of us there walking? On the, on the, uh, do I see you walking on top of it? Yeah, do you see us, yes, or engaging it? Uh, no, not necessarily, not yet, I don't. Because I see uh, the canopy of angels, angels around us. It's like, and they were engaging us. And it, it looks like we were also in the cosmos. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah, patience. Um, that's that's what I saw as well. Um, what I could see was like looking at the whole of the earth realm, like across the border of the horizon, and it was all lit up. Right. So when it's lit up like that, to me that always represents like like the, the glory, the glory of, of the Lord. But what was causing it to light up was 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 the radiance of of angels over it. And mm. within that, uh, and within the same radiance of, of those angels, we were e we were able to go in and to go out as well. So we um, joined them in the radiance. Wow. I think. Uh I think that says a lot. It says we are already engaging it. And then um, we lighten up the whole place with our light and their light, right? Uh huh. I just want to say we honor these angels, we honor the cosmos, we honor those that are us and us engaging with them. We honor them. Yes. We ask Yahweh to show us what you want us to see. Teach us what you want us to know. Yeah, I was looking and I didn't really see anything. And then I remembered something that Chris Carter said. And he always said, um, ask Jesus, where are you in this picture, Jesus? Uh -huh. and, um, and it was like, Jill explaining about the the teal, the arcing to form a sort of an oval. And um, it was almost like I, not clearly, but like someone was coming through that, like a portal from the other side coming this way towards us. So the, the, the oval was like a portal and Jesus was coming through the portal. Yes, um, because it was it was difficult, like to really see it for us it was hard. But I did. Um, the light began with um, it began in the heavens, in the cosmos, with Christ in it, and then and then it had spread off to um, the angels, um, but. When you spoke of the oval shape, um, it just reminded me of, um, instead of an egg, it reminded me of a shell. And um, to me, it seems like we all pass through that shell. In other words, we step out of it and we step into um, that newness or into the light of this resurrected body. So we actually shake off what we are become out of one era and we, we step into a new era, a new era of light in in him. Yeah, uh, it confirms what I'm seeing. It's the one um Delicia said Jesus coming in. I saw that we were in Jesus. When he came in, 
we came in came in with him mm-hmm. and that's what Doreen is saying in him whilst he's there we are there we are there as him and he's there as us mm-hmm. so we want to honor Jesus our brother the greatest forerunner who has gone ahead of us and opened borders for us to engage and even giving us the grace to be who he is. As he is, so are we. Mm -hmm. Jesus, we honor you. We always honor you. With every breath we take, we say we are honoring you. We can't even honor you enough. But with all our hearts, we do honor you. And even with you, we engage the cosmos and the angels. Mm -hmm. And we are saying again, what do you have for us today? What is our mandate here today? I, I don't know, I was um, hearing you are my lights. Um, in cities of refuge, you are the lights of the world. And so the only reason I'm saying in cities of refuge is because I see domes. Um, I see domes and the top of the domes are, are lighted, but at the same time to me, the domes are um, particular places of, of, of refuge where people are in there and um, we, we, we become the lights of the world. In other words, we're the carriers of his, his truth and, and, and of his word. Doreen Ross was saying that what came to me is um, our, our function that has been already outlined for us as the light of the world, let your light shine. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, 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 and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you, but you it was go just ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just say, and within that, then, 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 then Christ becomes glorified mm-hmm. within our, our light shining. Yeah. And, and uh, um, you know, we in Christ is the same as Yod He Shin Vav He. Yeah. That's what uh, uh, Joy was saying. Mm. You know, uh, uh, Yod He Vav He is Yehoah. Uh, uh, no, Yo, uh, Yahweh. Let me say Yahweh. That's better for me. It's Yahweh. Yehoah is in my language. That's how we say God's name, Yehoah. And I didn't want to bring it here. So sorry about that. Nobody else understands it by me, right? So uh, it's, it's Yahweh, yod He vav He. But when the shin is in, the shin is us in Christ, in the center of the name of God, yod He shin vav He, Yeshua. And I'm saying this because let your light shine. The shine is the shin. We are the light of God. When we allow our light to shine, we are shining Jesus forth. His Hebrew name is Shin, Yeshua, Shin. And the word Shin is from his name, Shin. The Hebrew letter, that, that, that it's like W, but it's Shin. The fire is the fire and it's also the, the teeth. So letting our light shine is reflecting Jesus. Letting the world see him 
as they should see him. And what a time to let our light shine. Look at the world around you. Look at the darkness. I am not surprised he wants us to just together stand and let our light shine in the world, wherever we are. Hmm. What are you all picking up? Well, I, I heard that um, in the darkness, there comes a great light or there mm. came a great light. Yes. The darkness is the mystery also. It's the mystery of the koshek. Yeah, the koshek. And the koshek has to be sought after for it to be revealed. You know, uh, we used to think darkness is a bad thing, but after many revelations, we've come to know that we have to even embrace the darkness so that the secret, the mysteries in the darkness will come forth. And that is when the light comes and the darkness can't comprehend it anymore because our light is so bright that every darkness around us has to go. Do you all want to engage the koshek? Yes. yes. That's the god as well. That is the the god the spiraling up and down. Oh, it's a god too. Yeah, it's I, uh, I, I didn't know that. The the yeah, the shin god. The not the not the uh, shin gadol, it's the the actual god. Um, that was one of my names that I said, I'm in the divine dance in the written spoken path of Olam, spiraling up into the Koshek, into the deep dark secrets where I find the hidden treasures and revelations of Yahweh and then spiral down so that they are redeemed to purpose on the earth. Mm. Okay, I think we should engage it and, and uh, Joy and Delicia, you should lead us into it. We're going to popcorn it. <laughs> Go, Joy. Joy, want to start it for us? Um, okay. Well, anybody else else can can you know chime in? Um, yeah. Yahweh, we just um, yeah. I I've been seeing I've been seeing the um, it is the God, but I'm seeing a. Um, um, I don't even know what to call it. Um, uh, it's like a circular. It's like a circular, like it's it's go, like a spiral going up. Um, and I, that is the. So uh, we honor you, Ga. We mm -hmm. honor. We do honor the Ga and the Shin Ga Do. One's on the right and one's on the left. We honor. Uh, we honor this. Um, we honor this journey, Yahweh, and we just want to see what you want us to see um we um come forth i don't i don't really know how to because the usually when i it's usually during the night walk or in the night season where um i engage the koshek and but i just we just honor the koshek we honor the mystery mm -hmm. we honor the god and we say take us where Yahweh wants us to go. Anybody else want to chime in? Go for it. Yes. Thank you, Father. Then show us the deep, dark secrets. Yeah, so that we can find these hidden treasures, Lord. Thank you for the revelations that you're giving us, Father. We honor you. And Yahweh, what's on your heart, Yahweh, the intention, we're in desire, our desire and intent is to know you more, is to be, to, to, to have what you desire to be revealed, be revealed as we seek mm -hmm. you out with all our heart. And we desire that with all our heart.
I just heard face to face. So Yahweh, we just want to set our faces to your face, to your faces. Oh, the lion, the ox, the eagle, the man. Let's set our, our hearts to your heart, our faces to your face, our eyes to your eyes, our ears to your ears, yes. our hands to your hands. One, oneness. Mm. I, I, I see that our bodies are, are filled or composed of um, the frequencies of, of, of the seven spirits. And um, even within this case, the faces of God, um, before us, it's like there, there's a dimension, but it's a river as well. Um, of light, but this light is not the it's not the yellow light. It's white light. It's white mm. light. Yeah, mm. and our bodies are composed of the frequencies, which means like from our legs flowing up. There's like um, it's like green and blue and gold and red, but towards our upper part and towards our minds. Um, that's where we can gaze on the fourth on 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 the on the faces of God, but it's all taking place inside of our uh, uh, some beautiful type of thing. <laughs> That's the best mm. I can provide. Awesome, awesome. And Dory, you know, um, the seven spirits, their colors when they come together. When we have them all working in us the way they're supposed to work in the fullness, you know, they are our tutors and governors. When we have them all together and working beautifully together in unison, then we reflect the, we reflect the white lights. So you said that uh, our bodies were composed of them, and then you saw the white lights. So it's like a process from them working individually, individually to them coming together and working together in us because we have allowed them full access, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking that through this, we're able to clearly see um, the faces that were mentioned. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe in time be able to have the understanding of the unlocking of the mystery in each face. So I'm and just then, sensing, yes, okay, I'll finish. Mm -hmm. Biana has joined the call. Welcome, Biana. And so um, what's coming to me is one, um, a, one joy set our faces to, uh, right into his faces. I saw that um, uh, it came to me the face of Moses, you know, when Moses uh, went to went to uh, behold the Father's face, when all of Israel said, "No, we won't go. Let Moses go for us," because Moses came back with his face changing and uh, mm. reflecting the Father's face, and so they asked him to cover his face because they don't want to behold it. What's coming to me is um, the face of Moses, but the face of Moses reflecting all the four faces. And what I'm getting from it is that when Moses came, in the beginning and for a, a, a while now, or a long time, I have always thought that they asked him to cover his face because there was so much light coming from his face and they didn't want to behold that glorious light on his face. But the father is telling me that no, Moses was, was reflecting the four faces they were seeing the lion, the ox, the eagle, and the man. Mm -hmm. Because he has he was in the father's face for so long that now he is the four faces. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, yes, patience. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is why they were hiding, they wanted to it to be hidden because they can't imagine a man looking like God and with the four mm -hmm. faces of God. They were petrified. <laughs> yes, that's the word. And the thing is that. I am seeing that as we are beholding his faces like his faces like that, we are picking up the same thing Moses picked up. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. So it's not only be still and know I am God, be still and know you are God too. Mm-hmm. Little G God. Mm. Yeah, I heard um, be held or be still or be held and experience me as mm. God. <laughs> mm. But I, I, I want um uh, I want to say this. Uh, Cindy posted that um we wanted the correct spelling of the koshak, uh, and I don't have it, so I don't know it. So uh, who who can help us here? Joy and Delicia, you people have been talking about it a lot. <laughs> How do you spell it? I, I know, I know the Hebrew is at times different from the English. C-H-O-S-H-E-K. And I don't know if anybody else has got a different spelling. C-H-O-H what? C-H-O-S-H-E-K. S-O-H-E-K. Okay. Good shake. Okay. Okay. And, and that is darkness, the deep darkness that we're not supposed mm-hmm. to run away from but engage because God hides in the darkness. And then, and then you, you want to also uh, um, say a little bit more about the Gag and the Shin Gag, though. Mm. I know the Gag and the Shin Gag, though, are at uh, um, east side of of the the main Hebrew letters, right? The uh... Joe, Joe, you want to chip in here? Um, Enlighten us yeah. about the Gag and the Gag, though. The Gag, I don't have my my book up here. The Gag is. Um, there was a teaching that Ian did that the Ga is on one side and the Shin Ga Do, and it's like at the top of the ladder, and they both have they both have uh, an important part in I don't want to say ascending, but in um, ascending and uh, in, in being in the present, the, the I want to say the presence or the present state. And uh, um, the Ga, other than what Eber, the Eber book speaks of, um, I haven't, I haven't, I'm, I'm in my life and what has happened in my life, the letters were always working in my life. And I'm just now finding out their positions through, um, of, of through the many things that Yahweh has me had had me done do and um, so I am like I am now having the understanding of what each role is and what each role has been in the things that Yahweh has called me to do um, I don't haven't I feel like God is part of my name um, but in a sense um, I feel like God is part of everybody I mean, they all are part of us. Um, so in this, in this event, in this, in this um, moment, I feel that um, I feel that there's a, a well acceleration. I keep hearing acceleration. So um, to really see and know what Yahweh wants us to do at this moment and together. Um, that there's there's something he's revealing. Um, the Ga also, the Koshek also deals with not only the mysteries, but can also be about the face of faces of the deep, and that's a whole other thing. Um, and I don't, I can't say that I have the full um, understanding, but you know, I have part of it, and with desire and intent, my desire and intent. Um, Basically, we're sons of God as one on this journey right now, um, reaching out and seeking, searching the Father's heart 
for what he desires right now. And um, however that unfolds, I just ask for him to step to and Yeshua and the Ruach, the breath, the hay, the the Yod, the uh, the the all spark of Yahweh, um, the Vav, the connection of heaven to earth, everything that we are, um, that he begins to show us what he desires for us to step into right now and speak to us clearly. Yeah. Because nothing nothing else will do. Exactly. Yeah, and the, I guy, the guy in that book of Eber, uh, it is the mystery letter that's, um, that's been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. And it, they talk about the spiral staircase that leads to the hidden secret places. And then um, Yvonne Butler says that the God is the secret staircase. It makes perfect sense that the God has been hidden for so long. It is hidden in plain sight, waiting, waiting, waiting for us. God was hidden in Ayin, which is perception. And Yeshua often Same. said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. As for God, I say, he who has eyes to see, let him perceive. So hidden there among the mysteries and the secrets of the universe, an ancient creature is finally discovered. It's the ladder of ascending and descending between heaven to earth. To me, God is the cord of Mahim, Mahan, Maha Nem. I think that's the one that's in the Song of Songs, eh? the Song of Mahim. God reaches, teaches us to dance between the worlds and how to start where we have finished and where we begin again. And then it also spoke about the God in the Sitsits, the spiraling, you know, the spiraling of the Sitsits? Yes. On the, um, on the um, Talits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then of course, the, the way that the Sitsits is wrapped with the yod hey vav -Hey. It's wrapped first with seven, then eight. I don't know how it works, seven, eight, 11, and 13. So, Thank you. Story. And the Koshek was spelled it's C H O S H E K. Patience. Yeah, we got that. Thank you so much. Okay. So, what I'm getting from all this, and then you all share what you, you get into. What I'm getting is that all of them are here to help us engage the deep mysteries that the Father wants to bring out through us as the light. Because I saw that was a, the darkness is so deep, there was a spot of light in the center. And I saw that we are the, that light, we and Yeshua together, are, we are the light. It's one small dot and it's us together with him. And as we were talking, the light was getting bigger and the darkness was getting smaller. So what I, I got was that all the, uh, the letters, the God and the God do and the, all the Hebrew letters are here. The canopy of angels we saw earlier are here, right in the middle of the cosmos to help us know what's going on and also help us to become the light that we are called to be and not just be, be, be covered and put under the table, but to shine forth. We are the light of the world and we are shining forth. And even as we shine forth and the world sees us, they will see Christ in us. They will see yod Hey vav Hey manifested in us. The lion, the ox, the eagle, and the man. Maybe not in the faces of the lion physically, but in their attributes. Like the ox is strength, you know? The lion is the boldness, the tenacity. And the eagle is the flight. The, 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 the power to soar above anything and also the ability to see beyond 
the seeable. See beyond anything that cannot be seen. Whatever what man can see, the eagle sees in that sense. Because the eagle sees more than anything you can imagine. And then the man, the humility, the meekness, yet the, the strength. Meekness doesn't make you weak, but stronger. And then the intimacy. All these are there to be revealed in us and through us to the world out there because they need it. We shall in forth. Shame is manifesting in the middle of the Koshek because God and Gaddo and Shane and He and Dalet and Vab, they are all here from Alif to Tav, they are all here. The canopy of angels are here because this is something they are assigned to do that as the sons of God, the light of the world, we will shine this time, this age, this season, wherever we are, this light needs to be seen. Hallelujah. What are you all picking up? That's what I'm seeing. That's beautiful, Patience. Yes, I'm fully, fully agree. And I'm hearing, right now, I'm hearing something that you said earlier. It's coming back to me, uh, Delicia. That we'll be able to dance between the worlds. Can you imagine that? The light dancing between the worlds. We can go to any world we want. We know there's no only one world. We know that. Because we are starting this encounter in the cosmos. Dance between the worlds. And bring that oneness that we have all been crying and waiting for. It's like an infusion, like an infusion of the energy. It's like, it's not just light. It's, it's more than light. And, and it's not just the circles. It's, it's more like a, a portal, a gateway, even maybe a vortex. It's a, it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of energy and a lot of, of um, it's, I see it as movement, moving. It's moving. It's the light is swirling. It's moving. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know the speed of light. <laughs> if it's moving and swelling, definitely. It's giving a lot of energy, giving us a lot of energy and creating, turning all the darkness. You know, we have two types of darkness. The darkness that needs to be really changed to light because it's evil. And we have the darkness which is covering and mis holding or covering, containing a mystery that the Father wants us to reveal as we engage it. Anybody else wants to share? What are you picking up? I don't know. I, I just saw the vortex as actually drawing in and creating change. Um, I'm not understanding, but when it came to the drawing in part, um, all I saw really being drawn in basically was a businessman mm. who carried a briefcase and in a black suit and so I've noticed the significance of that but it is going to create a change in something change 
change. I like that word, creating a change. Yeah, it's like it's like renewal. It's renewal. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a different type of business sense. <laughs> Maybe father's business, but just he's saying that you know a change is coming. Yeah, we need the father's business more than ever. When you see the way the world is going, we need the father's business to take over every business. What's coming to me is the kingdoms of the world have become the kingdoms of, of our God. The business of the world has become the businesses of our God. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> And even whilst I'm saying that, I'm, I'm picking up that um, there are many, many sons of God who are going to step into their own businesses because it will be the business of our God. Not the way the, the world is doing business, but the way business is supposed to be done by God in and through his people. No corruption business for the people that will help everybody not like you you can it all and you sit on it i'm doing this business because i want to have money and store it in the bank and just sit at the gate and you know but to get it and to share it like the the, the gamel would do the, the camel is walking distributing the heavenly supply of heavenly supply of resources to everybody. The camel is not standing for one person to load it and keep it. The camel is walking, is a walking man, distributing it all to all. Every Tom, Dick and Harry, every Jane, Mary and Dinah, everybody have a share in it. Because it's the father's resources and he gives it to all sons yeah i i remember a long time ago um i i never had the clarity of it but um when they speak of the the place of dry burns and um it, this was quite some time before before i even knew anyone here um but i saw the dry burns, um, they all came together and they formed businessmen <laughs> in the black suits and the briefcases, just like what I saw today. Wow. I, I never, yeah, I never understood it, but it just came back to me here and now. And, wow. and for what you just spoke, um, Patience, it seems like that's exactly um, what that was. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and even even what happened uh, in the stock market a couple of days with Robin Hood, I don't know whether you have heard it, with a guy who um uh with the um, the game stop, the game shop situation where many people came together and uh, they raised the value of it, said that instead of it falling. It boomed and it messed up the stock market in a way. What I picked from that was that the power of unity. Some people bet that the bet on the on the game shop that is going to fall because the value was just uh, I think four dollars or so at that time, and it was going to really fall and it will it will not make it. And some people bet on it like that for it to fall, and others who heard it and wanted to redeem it came together and then bought a whole lot that it picked it up and it was way at the top and it caused a mess in a way. But what I got from it is that the father was telling me, what the father was telling me from that was that, listen, if these people with, without even the mind of Christ can come together and then buy a stock for it to rise up and, the, and, and increase its value, say that, <laughs> those who were betting to fall did not prosper. 
what can the body of Christ do in our oneness, in any stock market, in any business? So I'm, I'm surprised it came up like what you saw, Doreen. That's what he was telling me. If my sons who are called by my name will rise up in unity, I will give them, I will give them the, the secret they, they need to make businesses work on earth. Say that not few will prosper, but all. Mm. Man will not have to beg for bread. No man has to beg for bread or beg for a place to sleep or beg for a transportation system, you know? Because that is the father's heart. And the sons, are we up to it? God help us. Mm -hmm. Mm. Massive, massive downloads of witty inventions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great things he wants to do, but we have to come in that oneness. These people were one. Just because they were one, they were able to do this big thing. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, we're almost at the end of our one hour, right? Why don't we all come together as one? Hold each other, each other's hand in the spirit. We are one. And we are, I believe that this is part of the mystery he wanted to, to download to us. Some great weird inventions and some amazing things. And even the money to start those businesses. Can I say, okay. patience? Yes, please. I, I, I feel, I want to quickly say this because we only have a few minutes. I, I've, I'm reminded when, um, uh, was it Doreen? I was reminded that the Lord told me a long, long time ago that he was repackaging his people and where they were going to be about his business and that they were going to, the package was, was not going to look like a, a Christian or a missionary, but it was going to be businesses going into every country and it was going to be repackaged, but there will be a dual purpose because they would be at the time I all I knew is that they would be a group of, of people that love Yeshua but now I know that the people group is the sons of God and as sons of God is one mm. we're, to, we're all to be called we all are called into the the full original intent of what Yahweh has called us to we're all called to a purpose that he's already purposed and we have to remember remember those things not just who we are coming into knowing everything about who we are but there's a, a remembrance of things that he's already put inside us that we've already done that it's it's a done deal it's been we, we did it before but we need to remember all the mechanics of of what it is he put in us that we already know so i just call everybody into that place by the blood of the lamb i call them out i call them into the original intent i call them out in and up now into the very heart of the father into the very place of the original intent of the covenant they called that they were called to that they agreed upon with yahweh and that those those things manifest fully that the the inheritance the ancestral inheritance come forward into each and every person on this um in this group and i just i ask yahweh to come and breathe on each and every one of us now and yeshua to just uh, to, to begin to speak to us in the, the Ruach, the breath of Yahweh, to begin to manifest fully the new purposes of Yahweh and what he's called for us and what he has for this group as one in oneness and the energy and the power and the authority that we have because he is in us. He's one with us. We're one united and united in Yeshua and Yahweh. Yes. Yes, and I, I send the same frequency to everybody who will be listening. You are part of this gathering. Whatever we are receiving today, as you listen, we say you are receiving the same thing. Just put your mind to it. Your mind and your heart to it. It is yours to have. But if we want to come together, one, in unison, hold your brother's hand, your sister's hand. We are one here right now. And we want to take the hey position, hallelujah. That means your heart is open like a big cup to receive the breath of God. It is the breath of life. 
to the creative light, the creative power that comes in this bread. We are receiving it so that all that he wants to impart to us, that we'll be able to step out and implement this, will be given to us. Are you all ready to do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So connect. Yes. You're connecting with each other. Connect, connect, connect. Hallelujah. When we set our mind to you that we are one, we are one. And so now we are one. Tell yourself, I am one with this group. And everybody else who will listen, you become one of us immediately. So we are all here. We are one. We lift our hands up and we lift our hearts up, open unto the Father. We set our eyes on you. And we say, pour into us, breathe unto us, breath of God, the work, breathe unto us the life of God, the creative force of God. Now, receive. Let's receive. Yes, Cindy, we are one. Let's receive the fullness. And as we receive it, we are also poured as, you know, we are the valve between the heaven and the earth, between the Father and the world. Let's pour it out to the world. There are many sons out there who don't even know their stand, that they'll be pulled in into this. It is not just about us. It's about the sons everywhere are rising up to our fullness. We are about our father's business. The father's business is, is on the leash. Hallelujah. And it's now loose. It's released, open, made available to us all. We have all known that for some time we, we believed in, in the rapture, the church will be taken away. No, now we know it's not the truth. The church is going nowhere. The body, we are the church. We are the body of Christ. The sons, we're not going anywhere. Rather, we're bringing heaven down and creating the new earth right here where everything will be as the Father wants it to be. Love, peace, joy, unity, oneness. Whatever the Father desires will manifest amongst us like never before. And we will be each other's keeper. I will be my brother's keeper. My brother will be my keeper. With so much love flowing and overflowing everywhere, like the river of life flowing everywhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yes, Joy. We are the sons of God, S-O-N, above the sun, S-U-N. That is where we live. That is where we operate from. That is why the things in this world does not affect us. They can come but we are above it because we are above the sun. Thank you, Father. Are we all complete? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We lost somebody. Who left somebody left? Thank you I all for coming. Brenna, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Delicia. Sorry, Brenna left. Yeah. She'll catch the recording. At times, you know, our internet can be funny at times. Yeah, we drop out and <laughs> yeah, by God's grace, we come back. <laughs> it's still recording. Oh no, no, yeah. it's not. It's recording, so uh, I mean, it can. Yeah, it anybody is. who who gets dropped out can catch up the recording. Blessings okay, to everyone. Thank blessings, so blessings. Much. Love you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>